Well, boys. <clears throat> couple little uh, little video here tonight. A couple of them. <clears throat> I know. Uh, posting a lot of shortwave listening videos lately since the Ukrainian war. Just uh, quite interested in seeing what kind of military stuff I could hear, if anything at all. And I managed to come across a few interesting signals with this uh, Kenwood R5000 graciously donated by uh, Mr. Lauren a long, about a few, what, a year or so ago I guess, maybe a year ago this one in the Yezu FRG100 which I have loaned, on loan right now to Thomas via one TAD but uh, that's the current setup anyway right now got the uh, R5000 on the right and the TS440 on the left and of course got the T-Tuner that I made an antenna switcher, combiner right there and got the tuner, two meter radio blah blah blah, got the microphones wired up to whatever and this is the mess that I've been <coughs> messing around with <laughs> And Thomas, you might actually remember this jar. Actually, two of these jars. One there. One there. You had some stuff put in them there to, over Christmas. Some hot chocolate put in one and marshmallows put in the other. <laughs> uh, just for devilment. Figured I'd try to make myself a little crazy receiver circuit thing, whatever. And, uh,. I have the audio from this run into the realistic SA101 which then dumps its audio into Mr. Speaker Ooh, right here so I just flip switch turn the volume up a little bit run around battery when <laughs> Just something to be at. So that's uh, 800 kilohertz AM mini wave band. Just an old ferrite <laughs> antenna. I have an old radio salvaged tuning cap. The circuit was one I built before I managed to copy off of another YouTuber. That's the circuit that uh, I got copied here now. It uh, can't, I can make it run on the solar panel. That's the purpose of the panel being there. Better not going with one uh, double A battery right there. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been at. Kind of Amy spare time, just plain. <laughs> It looks like a collaboration of crap, because that's pretty much what it is, a collaboration of crap, but, you know, something to be at. But, uh, I'm going to get this mess here cleaned up, and then we're going to be uploading video number two. And, uh, I think you might be interested in video number two. It's a little thing that I have to look at for another amateur. And, uh, what not. We're gonna see what we can do with it. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Not a whole lot changed. Still got the uh <laughs> this Variac I've had I don't know how many people have asked me to sell this Variac. And uh I just I just can't do it. It just can't be done. It's the only Variac that I've uh, managed to uh, come across. And I managed to come across this one, like I said, many, many videos ago. Got that one, I don't know, probably three years ago, four years ago maybe. And I got it at a local yard sale. And I actually paid five bucks for that Variac. And I got it home and uh, ended up having to change the AC cord because it was quite rotten. It was dry rotted and quite the fire hazard. 
I got a I put a YouTube video up regarded here on the channel, and I also got pictures uploaded on my website. So if you want to take a look at that Variac when I first got it, yeah, it was an interesting times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not even but a pile of junk. Some parts there. Board of parts right into waiting to uh be discombobled. I got this uh I got I got got a really good potentiometer. It's uh, one of the bigger ones I've uh, come across. And it's a Mallory. 150 watt type 150-K. Yeah. That's a potentiometer. <laughs> Or around tensiometer slash rheostat, more or less, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's 150 watts, so yeah, quite the quite the brute that is, to say the least. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was given to me, and of course I still got my little audio out before. He still works. Uh, Awesome. Okay, so this 2N3904 audio amplifier, boys, if you've ever, you know, this is an amplifier I would suggest anybody try to build. It works very well. Very well. I've used this on so many projects. I got two outputs, I got an RCA output, as well as a regular old mono type output, or whatever your quarter is jack or. 3 mil, 3.5 millimeter jack, whatever, and uh, yeah, of course that's just input, but uh, it works awesome. Anyways, and pulled apart a piece of equipment um, that my buddy Dwayne, be on United Kilo, give me. Pulled a bunch of parts out of that thing, and. Uh, I found in, in amongst it these little micro switches, two position switches with center off. There was two of these. That's that dandy little uh, switch. Very very cool. Actually managed to pull two of them out of that uh, out of that unit. Anyways, not for me blabbing on here, but uh, before I go. This CD changer, just a tray that uh, was originally in it. And I was just thinking, you know, when I took it apart, I, I kept it, thinking, you know, maybe I could make some kind of a weird ass medium wave antenna of some sort. Maybe, possibly. Or drill it to the center, put an aluminum mass down the center of her, and use this thing for hooking up guy wires to it, not guy wires, but ground wires to it. I don't know. Make a, I don't know, some kind of dipole of multiple angles. <laughs> I don't know. But I built it, I built it, I kept it. For simple fact, maybe could use it for some kind of antenna project maybe possibly I don't know what do you guys think if you had this contraption here CD tray how would you utilize that as an antenna or for an antenna or part of an antenna put it in the comments below I'd like to see what you guys come up with drop a diagram on paper and post a picture or email me a picture of what you think I could use this for. And email it at my email at bo one mds at hotmail.com. That's Victor Ocean One, Mike Delta Sierra at hotmail.com. I'd like to see some of your pictures, some of your ideas of what I could do with this CD tray. Other than uh, toss it in the garbage. Anyways. <laughs> That's uh, that's that. But uh yeah. Lots of uh, goodies. 
And uh, I'm not sure if I showed you or not this meter that I that uh, a buddy of mine, Mr. Dwayne, V1 Alpha Alpha Bravo, uh, donated to the cause here at the uh, shack a capacitance meter. Uh, UA6013, yeah, 6013L. And uh, ranges from 20 microfarads up to 200 picofarad. And boys, I got to say, that is a very, 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 very nifty meter to have. And Dwayne, I appreciate it more than you think. So. <laughs> I haven't, actually, I haven't stopped using this meter since I uh, since you donated it I got to admit that's a really nice meter and I've used it a lot so much so that I've got trays <laughs> trays <laughs> of capacitors uh, right now same thing as up here that I have so far picked out by value before I used to use this chart over here for uh, figuring out my capacitors, values and whatnot. And now I do something as simple as uh, grab a cap, put on a lead to that, and tell you what it is. Boys, oh boys, I'm, I'm I'm getting spoiled, <laughs> getting spoiled. But uh, yeah. And another thing I'll show you, before I let you go, I got donated some meters a while ago, some items, and I donated this awesome meter. And uh, I can't remember for the life of me, honest to God, who gave me these parts. And if you're watching my video, please comment below and tell me, because I honestly don't remember. But uh, it's a Simpson Model 2122. 0 to 50 DC micro uh, micro amp uh, meter. I haven't used it yet, but I mean it's the thing is like literally like new in the box, new in the box. So I mean with the right shunt, I could make a. I mean it's a 50 50 milliamp meter right now. With the right shunt, I can make it a 5 amp, a 50 amp, 500 amp. It all depends on the shunt. But, uh, I haven't used it yet, believe it or not. It just keeps sitting in the, in the corner. One of these days, I'll put that to use. But, uh, anyways, until then, we'll, uh, Nice. I must have knocked it. It's dead. Oh, there you go. Head down your leash short out. <laughs> Bye, my window. Anyway, turn that off. Anyways, let's get on to the second video, shall we? You might enjoy that one. Maybe you enjoy this one. I don't know. Anyway, see you shortly. <laughs>